Well, Lee, thanks for taking the time to speak to us. How much are you looking forward to, to, to bringing your under-21s team here uh, to play Kosovo next month? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, been lucky to be here uh, in the past few times, um, uh, both both watching games and also um, coaching uh, the 21s where, where you've hosted us before. So uh, really looking forward to coming back. Um, the games that we have had here, we've been really good. We've 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 scored a few goals. Um, I think we've put on a quite a good show for the fans. So hopefully uh, that can continue. Obviously, on a personal level, it's your first home game, your first competitive game, if I'm right in saying. So, on a personal level, a pretty big occasion for you, and you know, obviously, an honour for us to, to host that for you. Yeah, definitely. I think I'm, um, you know, really privileged to be the under 21s coach. Um, I know it's a prestigious position. We've, we've, and it's had some great, great coaches that have, that have coached the team in the past. So, hopefully, I can continue that. Uh, but now, like I say, I'm looking forward to September. It seems like such a long time since we've, since we've been together as a group. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I think you touched on in your, your first answer. This is a club that you're aware of and a football team you're aware of, and, and you know play the the way that I know you want your England teams to play, and, and Gareth at the high level wants his England teams to play. So quite a nice um, symmetry there coming here to you know certainly the fans that are going to be in the stadium, the MK Dons fans that will be here are, are going to be used to the football you want to play. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously the, the pitch definitely helps. It's a it's a beautiful pitch, nice and big. So hopefully we can um, we've got a lot of attacking players in the team. Um, you know you want to we want to. Want to put on a good show for the for the fans that that, that come and watch. So hopefully that'll um, that'll be the what happens on the night. And uh, I suppose an interesting dynamic that fans are back because yeah. your group would have had a whole year. Some of them might not have ever played an international yeah. game in front of fans before. Yeah. So it's going to be a real eye opener for them, isn't it? Definitely. I think I think the the fact that they'll obviously they've started off the season at their clubs back back with the fans because it's definitely it's definitely made a difference. It's made a difference as you know with this role we we go and monitor the lads and. And, and being sat back in the crowd, you know, has, has definitely it's definitely made an impact on us. So, I'm sure the I'm sure the lads are, are getting the benefit of that. You know, it's you know not not that no no one already knew this. Like fans are so important to to the to the game and the atmosphere, and it's you know it's 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 crucial and, and it's brilliant that they're back in. And a message to those that are thinking about coming out: what can they expect then from your team? And um, you know, there should be some names that they're used to watching on a. On match of the day and all, the, uh, and all them programs, Sky and Sky. So, how much are you looking forward to um, uh, putting on a show for them, and, and what can the fans expect? Well, we're, we're hoping that we can continue the the, the momentum that the, the seniors created and, and the buzz that they created around the summer. I thought it was uh, the way that they inspired the nation. Um, you know, it, it's been it's been great for us, and and I'm I'm hoping that you know some of the some of the lads that will be in the squad will have watched the games on telly and you know and been inspired by you know, what the seniors have done and and want to get to that level and this is you know they're, they're one step away from that and we have to keep we have to keep reminding them that you know they have to keep pushing themselves and and, uh, and performing and uh, we're lucky that within the pathway we've got some really exciting attacking players and and some some strong players defensively as well so hopefully we can create a, an environment and a, and a platform where they can perform to their best because like I say we've got some we've got some very good players in the system. Lemkins is a club that's obviously had some recent involvement with players bringing players through that have featured at youth level, obviously Delhi's probably the stand-up name in terms of what they've gone on to do for the senior team, but is your message that regardless of what level of the game, obviously MK Don's in League One now, yeah. regardless of what level of the game, if you're, if you're performing week in, week out, there's, there's an opportunity for you in the England team? Yeah, well, what, what, we've, um, well, what I've definitely noticed since, I, since I've been coaching the, the England 19s and, and 20s and, and, and the 21s is that uh, the academy system um, and the impact that that's had on uh, the, the level of coaching that we've got some, like say, some outstanding players that are in the um, are in the academy system and, and in the pathway, and then you know they're not always at the at the clubs that you'd you'd expect. So uh, no, there's a, there's a lot of um, a lot of great work that goes on at, at all cat all categories from from four to to one, uh, and we're lucky in that respect that we we reap the the rewards of that at the obviously international level. And staying on the theme of MK Dons, I know you. No, Josh McKett couldn't quite well. Yeah, um, yeah. How much are you looking forward to seeing him? Obviously signed to another deal to stay here at MK Dons. How much are you looking forward to see him get back to playing regular football and, and doing what we all know he can do? Yeah, well, Josh is a he's a really good player. Uh, he's a he's a he's a nice fella as well. He's a good guy. Um, you know, he's, he's he's always well in, in the past, especially when I've worked with him. He, we've just struggled to keep him fit. Whenever he has been fit, he's played. You know, he's an outstanding player as as you've seen. Uh, you know, the way he passes the ball, his balance. Uh, um, his technique, you know, he's, he's second to none. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, he, he, he stays fit because he's a he's a he's a really really good player. Well, good luck for the game. Thanks for talking to us. Awesome. Thank you.